The stage was set for Mighty Albert to carry the National League on his back and break the worst slump in All-Star game history. But Pujols, the perennial All-Star, was off his game. And instead, two first-timers teamed up to push the American League to its 13th straight undefeated Midsummer Classic with a 4-3 win at the new Bush Stadium. Tied 3-3 in the eighth, first-time All-Star Curtis Granderson tripled with one out. Then the equally unheralded Adam Jones of the Orioles drove the Tigers outfielder home with a sacrifice fly to right off San Diego's Heath Bell, who took the loss. I, I felt like it was a tremendous game. We gave a couple runs early, and, uh, you know, we, we put three on the board in one inning, and it seemed like I felt like we hit the ball better than five hits, but at the same time, they played, I give them all the credit in the world, they played a tremendous game. Jones was a late add to the AL roster one of 30 players this year named to their first All-Star team. The NL had a great chance to tie it in the home eighth, but with two outs and runners on second and third, Ryan Howard of the Phillies, who grew up in St. Louis, struck out swinging. For the star-crossed National League, the swiftly played game, wrapped up in two hours and 31 minutes, was their seventh straight defeat and fourth straight loss by one run. Another AL youngster was a major factor in the win. Tampa Bay's Carl Crawford made a leaping catch in the seventh robbing a home run from Colorado's Brad Hopp. Largely by scaling the eight-foot wall in left to preserve a 3-3 tie, Crawford was named the game's most valuable player. In your career. It's got to be the, um, the top play. Uh, I, I don't even think I've ever robbed a home run before, so um, you know, I picked a good time to do it tonight. And uh, it's, it's, it's definitely probably my best catch I ever made. And Red Sox reliever Jonathan Papelbon, almost the GOAT by surrendering the go-ahead run, was credited with the win. I said that um, you know pitching and, and defense wins championships and defense wins all-star games for sure. You know, um, clearly the uh, game-changing point of tonight. Did Josh or anyone tell you that uh, you vultured a win or you know, give, give you a hard time? No, I'm sure. I'm sure I hear I vultured a win from somebody though. But hey, a win is a win, and I'll take it. Pool holes, the hometown hero who was greeted by thunderous applause during pregame introductions, had a vexing night. The card slugger who entered the break with 32 homers, went both homerless and hitless in three trips. The All-Star Game's leading vote-getter also booted a ball in the first, allowing the game's first run to score. But Pujols, an eight-time All-Star, sought redemption. He made two diving stops on hot grounders for assists, both during the AL's one-run fifth, which tied the game at three. President Obama, wearing a Chicago White Sox warm-up jacket, threw out the ceremonial first pitch. For the record, it was a looping toss that just made it to the plate on the fly. With President Obama, the National League figured this time they had a surefire solution to break their long, winless streak. In fact, their last victory came in 1996, a 6-0 shutout at the old Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The National League had won all four of the previous All-Star games in which a sitting president threw out the first pitch. But it seems the NL is so snake-bitten that even the nation's chief executive could not help them this time. Reporting from the 80th All-Star Game in St. Louis, Eric Leaf, The Associated Press.